Hola amigos y amigas, les saluda Mara Carranza de AMLOVISION y ahora estoy trabajando con RBC Internacional gracias a la invitación de sus administradores y de su fundador, Ricardo Belmont Casinelli. Hello friends, today I'm going to be translating the conference of the Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador. I am working along with RBC International thanks to the invitation of the founder, uh, and Ricardo Belmont Casanelli, and its um, administrators. Uh, so I'm going to translate it, and I'm also playing the, the Spanish version in case some Spanish-speaking people want to hear it. Um, anyway, so here, without further ado, we have a very interesting program today because uh, today at the morning conference, the president said that he was going to be, uh, well, his book is coming out early, ahead of schedule. He had said it would come out in December, but now, for some reason, it came out early. So here we go. Hello. And he says, cheer up. Animo is like, cheer up. Bueno, eh, vamos a dedicar el día de hoy a responder preguntas. So he says, today we're going to be devoting this meeting to answering questions. Nada más presumirles. Except I have something to boast about. Now, is that not beautiful? I, so he uh, lets us know that he's bringing out his um, book, Hacia Una Economía Moral, which means uh, towards a new moral economy. Ya está. And it is ready. Ya va a empezar a distribuirse. It is now going to begin to be distributed. Para llegar a librerías. And it will be getting to bookstores. Y ya me dice la editorial que a partir de mañana. And the uh, editor is telling me that as of tomorrow. Puede estar en plataformas, en las ventas que se hacen. It will be on platforms where they sell these things Por internet. via the internet Está, eh, pues el fundamento. so he says so here it is it's the foundation now just to tell you something i think you should buy this book um this man is a wealth of information. Every conference I translate, I am mystified by the abundance of information and intelligence contained within one mind. Anyway, so let's go on. De nuestra política. So he says it's the foundation of our politics. Lo que se aplica that is applied en el post -neoliberal. in the period, the post-neoliberal period. Ya ven que siempre decían que no había de otra. You know, they always used to say, there was no other way. Aquí está el modelo alternativo. But here is the model alternative or alternative model. Hacia una economía moral. Towards a new economy that's moral. 
Hey guys. And that is where that stand stands. Ahora sí. Vamos a, a hasta atrás. Um, anyway, um, I think there are some other parts where he makes reference to the book and reads it. And let me see if I can find that for you. Because I'm going to make this particular part of the video um, just about the book. Okay. This is important to include in this part of the video. Y al mismo tiempo, estamos actuando de manera democrática. Se respetan los derechos individuales. Y van a sorprender. O sea, millones de pobres. Mis tener crecimiento económico con justicia. Observadores, reacciones. Al decirle. ¿Cómo vamos a olvidar eso? Pero regresando al planteamiento de Stigli. Ok. So here he returns to the um, proposal of Stigler. Yo diría, está demostrado, al menos en el caso de México, tú. It has been demonstrated, at the very least, in the case of Mexico, un modelo que oprime, that there was a model that oppressed, que empobrece al pueblo, that impoverished the country. No tiene viabilidad. It does not have viability. No tiene futuro. It has no future. Tarde o temprano. Sooner or later. Produce inestabilidad. It will produce instability. Violencia e ingobernabilidad. Violence and ingovernability or ungovernability. Nosotros tenemos que celebrar We have to celebrate que de manera democrática that in a democratic way sin violencia without violence logramos hacer un lado. We were able to uh, successfully set aside el modelo neoliberal. the neoliberal model. Or, or as it's also called neo porfirista neo porfirism um, because it was uh, porfirio diaz that basically started uh, this looting of our country in mexico Por eso, no debemos de sorprendernos. and that is why we should not be surprised si if there are reactions si hay resistencias. if there are resistances Esto es normal. this is normal Pero estamos avanzando. but we are advancing en la transformación. in the transformation por los causas democráticos for the democratic causes. El neoliberalismo no pudo destruir la democracia. Neoliberalism was unable to destroy democracy. Y si tienen éxito. And if they had uh, been successful. Los conservadores, these conservatives, utilizando la fuerza, utilizing force, no deja de ser transitorio. It would not have been simply transitory. Los pueblos siempre van a querer. The people will always demand or want. Vivir en libertad. To live in liberty. Y con democracia. And with democracy. This is una lección. 
That is a lesson. Por eso eh, tenemos que buscar otro modelo. And for this reason, we need to look for a different model. Eh, otra alternativa. Y Another alternative. And that he is talking about political models and alternatives here. Existe. And it does exist. Eh, que podamos tener crecimiento económico. That we are able to have economic growth. Con justicia. With justice. Que no se acumule. That it not be accumulated. Nada más la riqueza en unas cuantas manos. The riches be only left in a few hands. Y que haya millones de pobres. And that there be millions of impoverished people. Miseria pública. Public misery. Tiene que haber más igualdad. There has to be more equality. Una distribución más equitativa, más. It has to be a more equal distribution. Justa. More just. De eh, la riqueza. Of riches. Que se produce en México. That is produced in Mexico. Distribuir el fruto del trabajo. To distribute the fruits of our work. De los mexicanos con justicia. Of the Mexican people with justice. Y hacia allá vamos. And that's what we're headed for. Y vamos muy bien. And we are doing very well. Hoy van a dar a conocer. Today they will let it be known. Los datos de inversión extranjera en México. The data related to foreign investment in Mexico. Y van a sorprender. And you will be surprised or they will be surprising. Los datos. These data. Sobre crecimiento de inversión extranjera. Regarding the growth of foreign investment. Porque vamos muy bien. Because we are doing very well. Entonces, tenemos eh, una economía que está sólida. So we have an economy that is solid. Fuerte. Strong. Y al mismo tiempo estamos actuando de manera democrática. And at the same time, we are at, acting in a democratic way. Se respetan los derechos individuales. We respect individual rights. No se afectan intereses. Interests, personal interests are not affected. Utilizando al Estado para eso. By utilizing the state for that purpose. No se fabrican delitos. No se We do not fabricate crimes. Se persigue a nadie. We do not persecute anybody. No se violan derechos humanos. We do not violate human rights. Se garantiza la libertad de expresión. We guarantee the liberty of expression. Nunca vamos a censurar a nadie. We will never censor anyone. Y vamos caminando. And we are moving ahead. Entonces, sí eh, es evidente. So yes, it is evident. Que al menos en México. That at the very least in Mexico. El neoliberalismo resultó neoliberalism turned out to be un rotundo fracaso. A rotund failure. 
Y esto lo expongo en el libro. And this is what I expose in this book. Eh, ¿Y por qué? Entre otras cosas. And why, among other things? Por la extravagante corrupción. Due to the extravagant corruption. Que imperaba. That was empress. Estamos buscando acabar con la corrupción. So we are seeking to end corruption. Nada más les digo, miren cómo empieza. So let me just show you how it begins. No, les voy a, porque si no, me, la editorial me va a reclamar. So apparently someone asked, can you put it on the screen? He said, no, I can't, because the editor would be upset or exclaim to me. Decir, ya no lo van a and then he would say, well, they're not going to buy it then. Este, fíjense, ¿cómo empieza el libro? So look how the book starts. Capítulo uno. On chapter one. La corrupción fue por mucho tiempo, fue por mucho tiempo. Corruption was for a very long time. El principal problema de México. The principal problem of Mexico. En la historia se registran infinidad de casos. In the history, we have a registry of an infinity of cases. Sobre este fenómeno económico. Related to this economical phenomenon. Y político. And political. Fenómeno económico y político. A political and economical phenomenon. La corrupción, sostengo, es un fenómeno. I sustain that corruption is a economical and political phenomenon. Económico y político. Que de manera absurda that in an absurd way e and with its interests ha sido calificado has been qualified como social o cultural. as social or cultural. Acuérdense. Remember it. Lo que se decía what they used to say. Que la corrupción era parte de la cultura del pueblo de México. They used to say that corruption was a part of the culture in Mexico. Algo absurdo y ofensivo. This is absurd and offensive. Apenas desembarcó en Veracruz el conquistador. So, he had just disembarked in Veracruz, the conquistador. Hernán Cortés. Hernán Cortés. Y sin ningún fundamento legal. And without any legal foundation. Porque eso se puede probar. Because that can be proved. No había ningún fundamento legal. There was no legal foundation. Se autonombró alcalde. He self-proclaimed himself mayor. Fue el primer fraude. That was the first fraud. <laughs> And he giggles. Y jefe del ejército invasor. And the chief of the invading army. Décadas después. Decades later. Cinco. Approximately five. Décadas. Decades. Uno de sus soldados. One of his soldiers. El famoso historiador. Bernal Díaz del Castillo. 
the f famous historian Bernal Díaz del Castillo que llegó con él, that had arrived with him denunció que el reparto del tesoro de Moctezuma he let it be known that the uh, distribution of the money of the gold from um, Montezuma se verificó de manera irregular was verified in an irregular way porque antes de la distribución, de la distribución because before that distribution antes de que lo repartieran before they um, uh, split it up amongst themselves. Cito textualmente lo que dice Bernal. And I am citing textually what Bernal recited. Faltaba la tercia parte de ello. A third of it was missing. Que lo tomaban y escondían así por la parte de Cortés and they were taking it and hiding it on the behalf of Cortés como de los capitanes and also the captains y otros que no se sabía and others which we know not whom y se iba menoscabando and it was diminishing cierro la cita and I end the uh, quote las comillas de la cita. Luego, o sea, antes de repartirlo ya, este, estaba menguado. So even before they started uh, uh, splitting it, they had already taken a portion of it, and it was already not the the true amount. En palabras de Bernal menoscaba. So in the words of um, Bernal, it was already diminished. Luego de esos, ya se le pongo yo de mi cosecha. And after that, and I'll put in my two cents here. Moches. They took cuts of it. Iniciales. Initially. Cuando llegó la hora de repartir el botín. And when the booty was about to be uh, split amongst them. Ahí vuelvo a citar a Bernal. And here I will cite Bernal again. Cortés se paró. Cortés stood up. El quinto real. Oh, he separated the fifth of the uh, coins. Y se dio otro quinto. And he gave himself another fifth. Así mismo. To himself. Y los soldados recibieron unas cuantas. Que and the soldiers received just a few. Que no valían más de 100 pesos that were not worth more than 100 pesos. Desde la llegada, ¿no? So since their arrival. De los conquistadores. Of these conquistadors. Durante la colonia, bueno, hay otros casos. But during the colonization, there were other cases. Esto continúa en el México independiente. And this continued in the Mexican, um, uh, independent Mexican government. Si acaso hay honestidad. And if in any case there was any honesty. En la época de los liberales. During the liberal period. Acuérdense que había liberales que Surcían. You will recall that there were liberals that used to sew sus uniformes, 
their uniforms. Y recuerdo algo, ¿no? And I recall something, you know. De esa época. Of that time. El héroe de los tabasqueños, Gregorio Méndez Magaña. The hero of the people from Tabasco, uh, um, Magaña. I couldn't remember the beginning. Era comerciante. He was a uh, commerce uh, man, or like a businessman. Y encabezó la lucha contra los franceses. And he headed the fight against the French. Luego fue gobernador del estado. And then he became governor of the state. Y cuando murió, And when he died, sus no tenían ni para su entierro. His family didn't even have to, enough money to bury him. Vicente Riva Palacio, Vicente Riva Palacio es otro caso. is another case. El he, um, y se retiró a la vida he abandoned the military and he retired to private life. A Basically, he just went off to write. Poco después se entrevistó con el presidente Juárez. And a little while after that, he inter was interviewed with President Juárez. Y el benemérito reconoció que la nación le debía. And benemérito recognized that the nation owed, a, owed him. Cito. Or I cite, or like in quotes. Arriba Palacio. Por no haber cobrado sus haberes de coronel y general. Because he was saying they owed him because he had not charged for his work as a colonel. E incluso haber pagado de su bolsillo a la tropa. Because he had also paid out of his own pocket for the troops. Durante los primeros años de la guerra during the first few years of the war. La respuesta de Arriba Palacio and the response from Arriba Palacio fue, was, Señor Presidente, Mr. President, a la patria se le sirve. you serve your um, patriot, um, your country, no se le cobra. and you do not charge. Pero esto fue en ese periodo. But that was during that period. De la República Restaurada. Of the Restored Republic. Luego, con el Porfiriato. And then later with the Porfiriato period. Impera la corrupción. Corruption was king. Y lo pruebo. And I can prove it. And I do prove it. Hay un negocio que hacen. There is this business deal that they make. Había un ferrocarril. And there was this railroad. Al inicio del porfiriato. During the initiation of the porfiriato. Que lo había construido o lo inauguró Sebastián Leiva de Tejar. That was inaugurated by Sebastián Leiva Tejar. El primer ferrocarril. The first railroad. De la ciudad de México a Veracruz. It was from the city of Mexico to Veracruz. 600 kilómetros. 600 kilometers. Y se había hecho con presupuesto público. And it was made with public budget or funds. Nice porfiriato. Y venden acciones. So then the porfiriato government sold some of the stock uh, and uh, interest in the railway. This is Y las venden pues abajo de su precio. And they sold them below cost or their actual price. 
se cotizaban esas acciones en 16 libras esterlinas. So they were selling them with uh, the worth of 16 sterling um, pounds in London. In London. Y las vendieron en 10. And they sold them at 10 libras esterlinas. Sterling pounds. Y a los seis meses uno de los compradores firmó. And within six months, one of the buyers signed. Como testigo. As a witness. En la boda. En que se casó Benito Juárez. He signed in the, uh, uh, as one of the witnesses during the wedding of Benito Juárez. Con Carmelita Romero Rubio. When he married Carmelita Romero Rubio. Entonces, cuando al final del porfiriato. So then at the finality or the end of the porfiriato period. Se compran las acciones de nuevo. They bought those interests or stocks again. De todos los ferrocarriles que se habían construido. Of all the railways that had been constructed. De todas las líneas férreas. De todas las concesiones de ferrocarriles. All the concessions, all the railways. Porque eso eh, a lo mejor no se sabe. Because this you may not, no one may even know it. Pero al término del régimen de Porfirio Díaz. At the end of the regimen of Porfirio Díaz. Se compran las concesiones. They bought back the concessions. Como un foa proa. Like a foa proa. Now, for those of you that don't know, the foa proa was a um, government uh, bailout that they did for the banks, where the government uh, basically let the banks spend all the money, and then they put a, uh, they bought them out, they bailed them out, and then they gave the bill to the public. And so apparently that's what they also did with the railway during the Porfiriato period. Se rescata a las empresas a las que les habían entregado las concesiones. So they rescued the companies which they had given the concessions to. O sea, esto que vivimos en el periodo neoliberal. So this that we lived during the neoliberal period. Pito. Tiene ese antecedente. I repeat, has this uh, previous or antecedent, antecedent. Se compran las acciones, lo mismo. And so they bought back the uh, stocks the same way. El hermano de el secretario de Hacienda. And the brother of the secretary of uh, the treasury. De Limantut. De Limantut. Se entera. He found out. Que el gobierno iba a comprar las acciones. That the government was going to be buying back that stock. Consigue un crédito. And so he got some credit. Y compra las acciones antes. And he bought the stocks before. De que las adquiere el gobierno. Before the government acquired them. A precios que estaban por los suelos. At prices that were on the floor. Cuando el gobierno compra las acciones, ya tenían otro valor. And when the government bought them, they were at a higher rate or had a different rate. Porque... Eh, Tenía información privilegiada. Because he had privileged information. In other words, insider trading. Trading from the, uh, being the brother of the uh, person that was in charge of the treasure, treasury at that time. ¿Quién cuenta esto? But who tells of this? 
de este negocio de los Limantur. Of this business of the Limantur, I guess family. Bulmis. Bulmis. Francisco Bulmis. Francisco Bulmis. Que era defensor del régimen. That was a defender of the regime. Del mismo. He himself. Y así la revolución no pudo. So in this way the revolution was unable con la corrupción. to deal with the corruption. Se siguieron haciendo negocios. And they continued to do these types of businesses. Aquí describo. And here, and he's looking down at the book, he says, I describe. Como el mismo Álvaro Obregón. How he, Álvaro Obregón, the very same. Contaba de cuando le quitaron el brazo. When he uh, was telling about when they took off his arm. En Celaya. En Celaya. Les leo este párrafo. And I'm going to read this paragraph to you. Obregón solía narrar. And Obregón uh, narrated this. Que cuando perdió un brazo en la batalla de Celaya. That when he lost an arm in the battle of Celaya. Enfrentando a las tropas de Francisco Villa. When he was confronting the troops of Francisco Villa. Sus hombres buscaban y buscaban la extremidad. His men were looking everywhere for his, his extremity. Sin encontrarla. And they were unable to find it. Hasta que un amigo. Until a friend. Íntimo. An intimate friend. Que lo conocía perfectamente. That knew him very well, perfectly. Es entre comillas. And that I say within quotes. Porque es de él. Because he said it himself. Sacó del bolsillo. He took out from his pocket. Una reluciente pieza de oro. A recent piece of gold. Una moneda denominada azteca. And at that time, that coin was nominated or named Azteca. Y en cuanto la alzó, and as soon as he raised it up, y la mostró, and he showed it a los demás, to the rest of the people, cito, comillas, and I cite again in quotes, todos presenciaron un milagro. all that were present witnessed a miracle. El brazo se vino saltando. The arm came hopping out. De no sé dónde. Of who knows where. Hasta el lugar en que se había levantado el Azteca. To the place where the coin, the Aztec coin had been raised. Se extendió el brazo. And the arm extended itself. Y lo cogió cariñosamente. And gently, gingerly, held the coin Entre sus dedos. between its fingers. Fue la única manera, dice. And he said that was the only way de hacer que apareciera mi brazo perdido. To make my lost arm show up. Bueno. And he giggles. And that's Aquí hay cosas de los últimos tiempos. And he says, in this book, there's things of this uh, old times or past times. 
But um, I just wanted to share this with you because it's um, just very telling of how um, uh, he writes. He's written several books, and um, he takes um, he took a pay cut, by the way, uh, when he took this um, office. Uh, the previous president used to get two hundred and sixteen thousand a month, or three hundred thousand, something, something pretty high. Um, maybe it was two sixteen because he said he gets half of what the previous president's salary was, um, and it's I think one hundred and eight thousand a month, which is approximately the equivalent of uh, five thousand a month in dollars. So it's not a very a high amount for a president, um, especially <laughs> the way the presidents were stealing the money hand over foot over there. Uh, but <clears throat> he also is uh, talked earlier on this uh, video about how he was trying to decide uh, some of the uh, proceeds of the book are going to be going to help um, some um, uh, and some some uh, group or something. Um, he's he's in the past he's um, donated funds from his books uh, to uh, different organizations and um, uh, people indigenous people that were in uh, very dire situations but he said that he's trying to decide how he's going to be um, uh, giving this money but anyway so I just thought I would share this with you today and uh, thank you to uh, Ricardo Belmont Casanelli and his uh, team uh, because we are now working together and uh, they are from Peru and uh, very, very uh, hardworking people that are working for the human rights. And, um, and that's what I'm interested in. For me, it's not about politics, it's about human rights and, um, and it makes my heart happy when I see that good things are happening for people around the world. And it makes my heart sad when I see the sad things that are happening uh, with uh, the political situations uh, where like, for example, Bolivia right now is having a state of military uh, attack on the people. And um, Unfortunately, it was condoned by the U.S. and maybe even promoted, which is uh, very heartbreaking, you know, to know that I'm in a way part of the country that that uh, is promoting this. But I want to do my part to end it and, and to put a stop to this um, horrible uh, abuse of uh, these poor indigenous uh, populations because... Um, when you're rich, apparently, <laughs> you forget that these are people too. And they love, and they have their babies, and they love their babies the way you love your babies, and they want to have food for them, and they want to have shelter. And um, there needs to be more done, and we all need to have a part in it. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe uh, and um, please um, subscribe to RBC International if you want to know what's going on around the world and also uh, my channel is Amlovision and I translate um, but I also have a channel where uh, I have English Amlovision and I'm trying to somehow merge them but make the English uh, channel separate from the Spanish channel because uh, there's complaints between the people that don't speak the alternate language. So I'm trying to separate them so that the people that are Spanish speaking can have um, their